Hey guys, welcome back to Unmedicated and Dysfunctional, where we medicate through gaming. My name is Kenz. Today we're jumping right back in to a game called Those Who Remain. And yes, I did just forget the title for a second, but we didn't completely forget it, so that's okay. We're gonna jump right back in. Um, this might end up being a bit of a shorter episode. I am, unfortunately, on a little bit of a time crunch. But we are gonna jam. So, um... I've been dealing with a couple of things from my computer. And hi, I forgot you were there. <laughs> um, so this game kind of, in a weird way, ended up getting reset. And I know that sounds... Oh, can I... What happens if I throw these at you? Oh, can't apparently throw these very hard. Really? You're not going to throw them at all? Wow! Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's okay. Fine, whatever. That's... Oh, sorry. Got a little too close there. A little bit too close there, buddy. My apologies. Um, so it was interesting because I actually ended up having to play through this... Not this particular part, but play... That was helpful. Um, play through the first part of the game again. I can't get to the door handle. Feels like something is wrapped around the car. To get back to this part because uh, of how they do their save system, it's all preset save and game. You can't go back and save the game on your own. Um, which, I mean, it's fine. It's more ideal if you know where you can save, but um, you, you kind of can't always. So it was interesting because I was able to find little things and start to figure out exactly why they were placing certain things in certain spots. So I think j going back and being able to have that perspective is going to really here. help um, what I need. figure out some of the, pos the puzzles. The puzzles! Figure out some of the puzzles because now we've it's got a completely place. new perspective on it um, that I think is going to align a little bit more in how the dev was, too rusty. was doing bunch. it. Um, because for me... Why is this here? Like this, some of this stuff seems so nonsensical, but it's like the only thing that's not floating. Everything else is floating. You guys see that? Ooh, spiders. I don't like spiders. Okay, is there anything else? I got the thingies off of the car. Or were those even there in the real world? I don't know. I don't know why I needed to do that. It, it sure is. God. This is one of those games, and I know I've mentioned this last time, but this is definitely one of those games where- This door handle is stuck. Still stuck, really? Oh no. Yeah. I don't like that one bit. Okay, do I have, I have a key. Uh, this, uh, I think there's something else I need to do over here. Because it's very clearly the only path I can go. <laughs> so, why do you act so surprised every time? Like, we very clearly were just here. And, is the, and this is shocking to you for some reason? Like, you, you were shocked by the fact that we were just here, and now we're here again because we walked through the same entrance? Like, what? <laughs> really? Um. Honk, honk! Oh, I see. We weren't supposed to know that it's rocking until the lights turned on, but we kind of spoiled it, so... This this game is nightmare fuel. I mean it it really is really creepy. Because it Okay, there are lights over here. Barely. But there are lights. <laughs> Bob, I left a key in the mailbox. Whoa. Whoa. I just I just glitched something. So, uh uh 
What in the world just happened? No! I think I broke the game. Uh... I don't even know what to do. I guess I close it out real quick. I'll, I'll be right back. So it completely restarted me back at the beginning, which is why we like to manually save everything because I could have saved at that uh, particular check mark. Look, you, you aren't even hiding the scare well. It's, it's right there. The scare is right there. You didn't even hide it. Not even a little bit. Okay, what, what did I need to do? Right, I did that or something. And then, oh, what's this? A mailbox? Oh, sure, I'll go get this. Oh, look, a key. We found a key in the mailbox. Uh, what do we try to do, right? We try to... I can't get to the door handle. It feels like something Blocking. is wrapped around the car. Wrapped around the car. Okay, what did, what did we do though that... I can't oh, get there to it is. the okay. door handle. It's like, what it did we like do that trick of the house? I don't even know. The car. It's fine, though. We figured it out. It's right here. <gasps> okay, so now we need the gassy thing. You go, uh, like that. Boop. Yeah, got it. Oh, random finding this here. Just what and I now needed. we go do this thing right there, like that. Let's Just in this. case you guys missed how to do puzzle if you're playing this on your own. And we do, um... We do need to do this, which was weird. And now we can go back. And now we can, because nothing is actually wrapped around the car and that was all in our imagination the first time anyway, is we can, we can now go around and to this side. Oh, woo. I almost walked right into death, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, just do a little bit of shoo -ba boo plug that in. And now see if I could save right about here, I would, because this is um, where it glitched out last time. Okay, Bob, I left the key in the mailbox. Okay, <laughs> cool. Hello? Anyone here? Okay, that was really creepy. <gasps> Did the lights go out? I think the lights out there went out. Oh, shoot. Word of the word yeah, no duh. You saw that from the outside. Oh, no. Cool. Perfect. It's a type of sorrow that will hurt my soul. I can be my own type of lover. I can't go on to understand. I really don't want to go back around the front with nothing but a lighter. This is like, this is death. They're afraid. Oh gosh, this is this is absolute death right here. Hello. Oh, uh, hi. I thought you were one of them. Who are you? Are you all right? Possibly, but I don't feel alone. My name is Annika. Annika, either you're glitching I'm out, or there's nice just something wrong Annika. with you. Anyone else with you? You need to go. Mother is coming. What? You're mother is here no time for questions you need to leave uh, okay w why i can't just leave you here go edward you will see me later and okay with that i'm out <laughs> ah no here's my lighter you're afraid of it yeah take that run, run. okay i'm running i'm running okay Okay, I'm I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. What the hell is Here we going go. Up? We're running. We are running. Why? Why? I'm not gonna turn around. I'm just gonna keep going. Because if you turn around, you die. We learned that very quickly. If you turn around, 
you die. If you play a horror game, don't turn around. 100% every time, absolute death. Maybe there's someone in this diner. Where's the lighter? Oh, damn. What do you mean you dropped, dropped the lighter, you dummy? Okay. Hello? Anyone? Uh, newspaper. Damn, no one's here either. Where Can I not everyone? pick things up while there's dialogue? Fear rises in Dermont as yet another resident disappears. Lloyd Eldridge, 62, was last seen leaving the post office late in the afternoon. The sheriff's deputies and volunteers searched the surrounding woods but found nothing. An unofficial source mentioned that a group of men with glowing eyes were seen near the post office at the time. When asked to comment, Sheriff Matthew said that the community shouldn't be alarmed and that ghost stories are for children. They're for the children. All them ghost stories. Can't even pick my own songs. Uh, mother. Does that go the same way? Can I take anything with me? Sure would be nice if I could take a knife. Just, uh, I'm gonna point that out. Although, I don't feel like this is a survival game in that sense. As much... What? Is that the fire? Oh yeah, okay, I guess that is that close to the building. Ooh, up or down, let's start up. Okay, or you can only go that far up. <laughs> Why wouldn't they why wouldn't they generate some sort of blockade or something right there so that we knew that we could Whoa! Whoa! It's doing it again! It's there it goes! <gasps> no! 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 Ah Alright guys, uh we're gonna have to stop here because the game totally keeps glitching out. I don't know why it's blooping its own like it, you know what it looks like it looks like the light thread effect that they had um when we tried to go around the first time and it glitched out i don't know why that's happening i'm gonna look into it and see if that's a common glitch with the game or if that's something that i need to figure out with my equipment but that is like the second time now we'll have to restart that entire part because it, it has glitched out so we're gonna stop here i'll get this figured out and we'll continue the game at a later date and we'll also finish up amnesia we've got evan's remains that we're going through um outer worlds we've got man of medan with mario and after one of those is wrapped up we will also be jumping in to days gone and mario has also recommended um Detroit Become Human, which we will also be checking out. So um, if you haven't already checked out his channel, go check out his channel. Mario is fantastic, super supportive, um, really, really great to watch. So go check him out. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. And I'm so happy to have you as part of the UND family. So thank you guys so much. As always, I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>